your soul. I shall cleanse this household in the name of God. Ooh. So her mom was kidnapped, and her neighbors who were going to be at the party were murdered right then and there. Alexandria Happy Tr birthday! Happy birthday! Oh my god, been live for like seven minutes and hardly talked. How could you? I know, super professional. How could I? Uh, we trusted you. I know. I betrayed the people's trust. I know. I'm sorry, I've, I've ruined communism for everybody. How could you? Such a bad comrade I am. <laughs> bad comrade. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I said. Hey, Pink, how are you doing? Hi, friends. Ah, I had a little frog in my throat there. there so now I can see now I can see the chat. <laughs> there is two separate chats: one on YouTube, one on Twitch. Yeah, no, I'm looking at the one on Twitch. That is the more popular of my platforms. Twitter's my biggest, but then I think it's Twitch. Yeah. yeah. I've destroyed your faith. No, I've destroyed Pink Seraph's faith. <sighs> so welcome in everybody. I'm doing a little thing called I Spy with my little eye, and we, and here I do uh, interviews and get to know different content creators. Today we're getting to know digital vibes so Hi. would <laughs> would you like to give a little introduction of yourself and name pronouns that kind of thing sure i'm digital vibes or you can call me alexandria whichever one you prefer and um i go by she her and whatnot even though like if you mess up like on accident i don't give a shit i only care if you do it on purpose yeah, like most people don't give a shit if you, if somebody misgenders us and then immediately like, oh, wait, and then correct themselves and move on. I literally never think about people that do that. I think about yeah. the people that do it intentionally. Yeah, that's all I care about. That's why I get attached to my axe. The weapon, not the body spray. They're the same thing. True. Anyway, um, so yeah, like I said, I'm Digital Vibes or Alexandria. Choose whichever one you want to call me, hon. Um, How about cutie? Go ahead if you want to. Yay. Um, I stream many different games. The most prominent one that I'm doing right now is a Pokemon Nuzlocke. I'm doing two separate ones. One where I'm going solo and then one with a soul link with my buddy Jaku. Ooh. And, um, but yeah, those are the two main games that I'm playing right now. Um, I do, I also do a lot of art and whatnot. I do a lot of art, and most of it is NSFW, so if you don't like any of that, I don't know what you're doing looking at my stuff in the first place, but. Yeah, I mean. Warned. If they don't like not safe for work stuff, why are they even in my orbit? Like exactly, just my Twitter alone. Right. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much all I do. Just draw and stream. Sometimes I even play my guitar that's behind me. Ooh, fun! I have a guitar. I just never play it myself. Hmm. So, do you have any? lore for your vtuber or you want to describe your kind of aesthetic well for the lore of my vtuber she was found when she was just a wee babby behind a church she was just completely abandoned by her quote-unquote parent or parents you don't know which one because i haven't decided <laughs> but the best kind of um, lore the best kind of lore. Um, anyway, so yeah, she was found by her parents. Um, 
by, by, by her parent behind a church, the Church of Ray's Light. And uh, her human mother, or adoptive human mother, was like, you know what, I'm gonna take this baby since I can't have babies. <laughs> um, so yeah, she takes her in, basically raises her from like age one all the way to 18. One day when her, um, when she was coming home from school, she just graduated, all right? She came home because her mom's like, yo, I'm going to throw you a great graduation party. She gets home and the lights are turned off. You know how in some surprise parties the lights are off and then they turn them on? Surprise! Yeah, I've never had one of those. I never had one either, but <laughs> she thinks that's what's going down, all right? That's what she thinks because um, the lights are off and she's like, oh, I know there's a party today, but if it's a surprise party, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Pretty much. Anyway, she turns on just a lamp because the overhead fan light isn't turning on. They've been having problems with their electricity at their house for a good long while. She turns on a lamp, and this lamp kind of brightens up the room enough to where she just sees blood all over the wall on the floors and whatnot. She then sees on the wall... May God have mercy on your soul. I shall cleanse this household in the name of God. Ooh. So her mom was kidnapped, and her neighbors who were going to be at the party were murdered right then and there. Alexandria happy Tr birthday. Happy birthday or happy graduation. <laughs> She then, like, she then, like, tries to, like, figure out where the fuck to find them, and then all of a sudden she notices that she has powers. She has a- she starts using the power called Blood Sense, where she basically becomes a bloodhound and follow the trail to find her mom. Interesting. She's half demon, by the way. I, I got that impression. I, I forgot to mention that. Anyway, so she uses her blood sensibility. She finally finds where the act of God guy took her mom. And um, she looks like she finally finds where they took her mom. And do you know where she took her mom? The Church of Ray's Light. So she, go she busts up in there like, where's my mother? And, like, just straight up massacres all the other church followers. <laughs> like, ripping their heads off, eviscerating them, and whatnot. She then eventually makes it to her mom, but, like, they finally, like, pin her, pin Alexandria down. And they start doing this blood sacrifice ritual to her mom. And just to, like, steer away from, like, the gore, because I don't know if people in this chat will like gore, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan, but I do have friends into it. But I'd appreciate not going into detail. I got you, I got you. If you want to learn more, feel free to DM me if you want. Anyway, her mom basically dies right then and there. And all Alexandria does is, after being tossed out of the Church of Ray's Light, she walks home, like, super, like, you know, depressed and sad. And, like, in a catatonic state. And okay. um, she walks home. The police arrive at her house because apparently one of the neighbors before they died called the police. She arrives and then like the police uh, say, is this your house? And she just responds sheepishly like, yes. <laughs> and after the police like dictate her as not the person that did this or people. She then packs her up her stuff because she realizes that there's nothing left for her here. She grabs the present her mom left her on the kitchen counter, puts the like puts it in her bag, and just uh, goes on her journey of like fight trying to make a name for herself. And then here we are today, where she just basically just um 
where she basically just uh just streams to try and like make you know ends meet she has like two separate jobs the streaming and also the uh, uh actual irl job live in the dream live in the dream and that's where she is now she's currently still just doing her own thing drawing occasionally going to work streaming sometimes She managed to, like, find her own place, it, like, through all that. So she managed to, like, find her own little apartment. I'm sorry, my, my fantasy is broken. I can only stretch reality so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Finding an apartment you can afford on two jobs? You need I mean, at least three these days. It takes a I polycule mean, to rent an apartment. Well... She she struck a deal. Remember how I said she has powers? Ah. Oh. So that's how she can afford her place. But yes, GG I, on the lore. Pretty much. Thank you. So what platforms are you on in general? Well, besides Twitch, I am also on Instagram youtube where i post some of the past streams that i've done and i am also on twitter most of my art is on my instagram because twitter just likes to bury all my art yeah unfortunately you gotta use like art tags and the way you get noticed as an artist is doing popular characters fan art and stuff you get I mean, away with your ocs when you can but the crowds yeah. want, they want their main, they, they want, want their, their Samus. Squeeze. They want their main squeeze. They want their waifu. Their waifu's trash. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. I mean, like, I understand, like, art, like, art is subjective to, like, where anyone can like anything. That's why I'm happy to have, like, some art friends that, like, if I'm stuck on, like, a specific thing for a sketch... Or like a, a little bit of line art. They're like, yo, I got you. You gotta do it like this. And I'm like, all right. Yeah, it's nice to have that varying input to actually um, change up how you're seeing things. That fresh perspective yeah. can really help move you forward. Yeah. So what inspired you to start making content? Uh, this is going to sound pretty generic. But just to entertain, I like sure like the money is like great and everything, but I just want to entertain. Wait, make you make laugh, money make off money. of this? No, for my <laughs> art in general. I, I, I was Sometimes making a people joke. commission me, and that's very rare. I've had one. So I feel your pain, yeah. sister. Yep, one hundred percent. But yeah, like sure, like if like twitch ever like eventually like makes me affiliate or something or partner or something and i get paid for doing this sure the money that i would probably get is cool but i'd rather just entertain make people feel welcome and like have their own little escapism i mean sex is great but have <laughs> you ever had somebody come into your dms and say and literally just say Hey, thanks for providing the community you do. It's it's nice to have a place that actually accepts me for once. Yeah, I've I've only had one person say that to me. Um. Also, charge for chats, art, Pepe Sage. <laughs> I do charge for art, but it's mainly just what you can like give me at that time. I don't care about. I don't actually have a set list of how much everything is. It it's all about the complexity of the of the piece. If it's just like oh, a regular yeah. like headshot or full body or half body with like some little like you know like um some little like shading or whatnot or background, it's more or less like hey yo let's negotiate let's see what like how much you can give me and I'll just take that and just be like all right here you go. That's totally fair. I I do um charge what you can. Or pay what you can commissions, essentially. Yeah. 
I like that doing that better because sometimes people can't afford like really like amazing pieces of art from like really known artists. Me, I'm just like I'm just gonna like either do it for you for free or just tr if you want to pay me, we'll negotiate. Yeah, like if I've got the time, I would make a lot more models in Koikatsu, the game I use to make my art with. But. Mm -hmm. And, like, if somebody were to be, hey, can I commission you for some work? I've already got a model ready. I'm not going to charge them, like, 50 bucks. That's highway robbery. If they can only throw a buck at me, I will take it. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, not everyone is as rich as fucking, you know, most of the rich people in the world. Yeah, some people they're the 1%. Yeah, some people just have a dollar to their name, or literally, if you're like me, have a cent to my name. You did, you Chiru. But yeah, like, not everybody can afford it. I get that. Yeah. So how long have you been creating content? Uh, depends on which one you mean. If you're talking about Twitch, um... I say like two years, but like the first year I wasn't really like in to like making Twitch content. I only like did it occasionally just to like, you know, have fun. And then after I saw it like kind of like going off, you know, like shooting off like a rock kind of. Um, I, uh, I kind of was like, all right, if this, if I can make this like somewhat of a living, then that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. And if you're and if you're talking about me drawing, I've started drawing since I was in middle school and only really got into it after I got out of high school. I can get that. Yeah. Plus there are plenty of people that honestly just enjoy art. It's just yeah. a shame that the algorithm doesn't let you really get away with doing your OCs very much. Yeah. I mean, that's the only thing I draw, unless I'm drawing, like, a friend of mine's OC. Yeah, that that's kind of why I focus on, um, what's it? That's why I actually really like doing stuff with Koikatsu. I'm gathering, like, VTuber K cards, and then doing lewds of us, them. Yeah. That, that's been getting, like, 30 clicks, or 30 likes a pick. That's nice. Yeah. And, like, if, if there are any, like, new artists, like, that are watching this stream, the best kind of art you can make to, like, kind of get your name out there is NSFW. Unfortunately, it's true. It gets the clicks faster. But you don't have to lean into it if you don't want to. Yeah, you the, don't have to do it. That's just how it is. The best way I would say not doing S, uh, NSFW would be doing fan art of popular characters. Yep. That's going to get your name out there. Yep. To get your name out there, you gotta do certain things. Some people just only draw specific, um... like, characters from, like, a mainstream show or cartoon from Disney or Cartoon Network, whatever. Yeah, whatever's Some popular pe at the time. What people yeah. are looking for art of. Yeah, and if they want, they might commission you. And another thing that you should note is if you're thinking of doing commissions, don't feel bad if you're not getting any traffic, because there are many artists out there in the world that get better traffic than you. If you just get one commission, hey, that's cool. But if you just get, like, if you only get one, like, every, like, month or so, then that's fine, too. No one needs to, like... No one needs to, like, feel like they need to adhere to a demand. And another thing, too, is if you're commissioning art, make sure to have guidelines on what you can and can't draw. Yeah, make sure you have those, <clears throat> excuse me, the limitations of what you actually are capable of doing. Yeah, and sometimes, like me, some other artists also have a commission sheet. I do. I just don't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> I should make but, one. Yeah, you should make one. Though but I am also learning the boundaries of what I can and can't actually make 
with Koikatsu. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure I would will be able to make furry characters and mecha, but I haven't done it yet. I don't have the time. Yeah, exactly. And that for... that lack of time is the big reason why I ask for at least a little bit of money. Because I spend so much time at a full-time job, I get very little free time as it is. Yeah, exactly. That's the same for me. And um, another thing, if you're making a commission sheet, is to write down what you will and won't draw. Because everyone has their own like stomach of what they can and won't draw. Actually, listen to your advice. I'm pretty sure these were my positions the entire time, but... Yes, you do need to know that, Alex. Yeah. And your, we'll call them customers, will want, will need to know that as well if they do actually want commissions from you. Yeah. It's good to let your, um, your medium of people uh, that are commissioning you to know what you will draw and what you won't draw. Some yeah. people can draw like very raunchy things like vor. I can't because I'm just not good at it and it kind of is a little weird. Yeah, it it can be challenging to go into those pictures. <laughs> yep. Especially if you're not into it yourself. That that does make getting into the kinks a lot harder for um art. Yeah. I mean, that's only if you're just going to do NSFW art. Yeah, that's me, I true. Do, I, yeah, me, I do a little bit of mix of both, but the majority of the stuff that I post is just nudity. There's no, like, sex scenes or anything like that. It's just nudity. Unfollowed. <laughs> <laughs> I kid. I support all kinds of artists. That's what they all say before they leave. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, there are actually plenty of 2D artists that just don't have the uh, practice or the skill or the interest in doing furry characters, and that does drive yep. up the demand of the furry artists. Yep, 100%. So it, it, I do it, think it, they start overcharging. Yeah, they do. It just depends on, like... But I mean, the like quality. I said, the, the com yeah, the complexity of, like, uh, what the character looks like yeah that's that's a big part yeah complexity is key kids <laughs> <laughs> wrong button do, do, do. so do you have a goal with your platform um yes and no for the for me on twitch i just want to entertain like i said just entertain, make people feel welcome, and make sure that, like, everyone has just a home, so to speak. For art, I don't really know about that one. I don't know if I want to, like, pursue art, because art is very time-consuming and kind of, like, drains me mentally, depending on what I'm drawing. That is totally fair. My girlfriend's actually thinking of getting into doing art streams. And by that, she means just having a video where it's just her um, display where she's drawing her practices. No, no microphone, just some chill background noise or background music while she practices. Yeah. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. Sleepy Alex. Like a... No, I'm just always yawning because you need more sleep regularly i sleep have that symptom exist. too sleep doesn't exist i actually got like seven hours which is like sleeping in for me mm -hmm. I, I wanted to be up all night i slept man <laughs> dude i don't even know how long i slept for it felt like an hour oh i've I, I, I know I need to sleep more. But I got content to work on. And that's more important than content. health, right? Yeah, sure. Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain, Charlie. 
<laughs> you do know it. It's Yay, we are besties. It's a land of sweets and joy. Enjoying us. Come with us, Charlie. I'm just gonna go back to bed. No! What the hell is Candy Mountain? Oh, they fucking took my kidney. Ah, <laughs> oh, that... That was gold. It's a Leo Pluridon, Charlie. Ra 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 ra. So, is there something you wish you were taught when you first got into content creation? Uh, probably marketing, because I am not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I know how to do it. I just suck at wording and selling myself depending on what i'm doing if it's art i have i struggle really hard with that with streaming i kind of struggle because i try and make like a schedule but sometimes you know life ain't gonna adhere to that oh my god i am so bad about schedules because i literally only stream on saturday and sundays anymore because i don't i don't stream when i work i'm lazy yeah. But I, I never have, like, a set, I'm always starting at 11 my time, or I'm always starting at 1 p.m. No, I'm lazy as fuck. I don't, right, I don't, dude. I rarely even tweet that I'm going live. I, I should. I, I just have a bot I mean, in my server that tells people I'm live. That's it. I have a buddy of mine that tells people I'm live. Her name's Argo. That would help, having other people worry about it. But <laughs> if I were to ask people to do stuff for my stream, I'd want to pay them. I don't like asking for favors. Yeah, I mean, my friend Argo is just like, yo, I'll do it, no probs, dog. <laughs> That's pink. And sometimes, like, sometimes she'll pop in, yeah, she'll pop in the stream and be like, yo, what's up, I got a jar of honey. What'd that honey do? I don't know, man. I just work here. Oh, fair. And clipped? <laughs> I, I do a lot of random clipping. Hopefully I get some gems. Hmm. I've had have, some really have, funny ones. I've had some funny ones, too. Um, by far, my friend, uh, who also streams... His favorite one is when we're playing Minecraft, and I'm just casually strolling by, and I fall down a ravine, and I die. <laughs> and he goes, yo, what happened? I'm like, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, and he's like, oh. and then he looks back in the stream and clips it. <laughs> and I'm just like, fuck you, man. <laughs> uh, one of my friends has a good Minecraft clip, too. It's just a regular... They're talking, they're on the surface level, they're chatting with their friends in voice chat, and they dig through a couple holes, and then just immediately fall straight into a cavern, straight into lava, and just screaming all the way down, in the My middle God. of casual, normal conversation. <laughs> I, the, the conversation that my friend and I were having before that situation is the reason why I got clipped because some people found it funny. Um, so I was just like, sh like, um, doing some random like voices and, uh, my plethora of impressions are very limited, but like sometimes if I get into like a random character that I decide to be <laughs> like, uh, the conversation was this, he was just talking about, um, voice actors and whatnot and we just continue we're like yo voice actors are dope and voice then, oh, actors shit. are dope right? thank you oh that's my friend sterling <laughs> <laughs> hi sterling i i love that i love that alert it's just whenever <laughs> somebody follows i hear trump going obamna oh, i love Bomna. it so much I have a different sound for different um, events that happen. Like a subscriber on YouTube is a different sound from a follower on Twitch. A raid mm. is something. 
McDonald's, that kind of stuff. Yeah, my, I have uh, different sounds a lot for my um, streams as well. My favorite is just when people follow me. What's that sound? All like, it's a bitch. Why the fuck did you say yes? I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> But my favorite one is if I ever get raided is just Patrick from Spongebob being like, Who are you people? That's a pretty good one. I have a bunch of them. Um, I have a subscription one and then some a bit one. Uh, I have a bunch, but they're not going to be used until like I like, you know, get affiliated or something. Oh, not that button. That button. Which or reminds that, that me, one. I'm gonna shout you out again. Or Pink, would you mind shouting Alex out again? Because we <laughs> need to get Alex to affiliate. I want to hear those sound effects. <laughs> you want to hear those sound effects? I, one of my sound effects, I'm not going to say which it is. Chad is going to have to find out. It is Ben Shapiro saying, I will punch a Nazi in the face. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's that's the best. Let me, I, cause there's another. Oh yeah, I need to figure out what the subscription sound was. Up um, yours, woke moralists. We'll I'm see sure. who cancels who. <laughs> I used that one for the longest time. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm going over it today or tomorrow, but I'm gonna be doing a react video. To fucking dating advice from Jordan B. Peterson. <laughs> it's gonna be meme central. That's gonna be fucking awesome. I will be there. <laughs> Is there a kind of content you've wanted to make or see but felt like it's too niche? Um, I would say just um a content that i want to make like in the future i will be going to a film school to Ooh. work on being a filmmaker nice and what i want to do is just basically like i said i want to entertain but my favorite genre for movies is horror um i wouldn't if... watch it but i would be in it if you need a voice, I I'm just you. a bitch when it comes to horror. <laughs> we'll just have you be that one person that actually has common sense and just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to make a horror movie, eh? Or just something horror in general. Because I really like the horror spectrum and anything paranormal is just really gnarly. Like I said, I fucking hate horror, which is why it's probably the best genre for me to stream games of. Because I am such a bitch. Oh, I found out which, uh, which one it was. Uh, it was, uh, uh, um, the cheer one. It's just, like, a voiceover of Darth Vader being like, Let's go! <laughs> nice. I love that one a lot because when eventually like bits get like added in for me when I'm a become an affiliate, it's going to be so much fun hearing that in the background. <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. It's all like, let's go. It's a specific... little more robotic. Yeah. The specific clip from the Darth Vader being like, let's go. It's like a, a funny video of like a gender reveal type thing where they build <laughs> planet and it turns pink. One of the guys is like, it's a girl, Darth Vader, let's go. That's awesome. I have to find the clip and I'll send it to you. It's Oh, please awesome. do. I will. I'll find it and send it. So what, while you're finding it, what's the biggest project you're currently working on? Um, besides all the Pokemon Nuzlocke's that I'm doing, I am currently working on a new drawing that you will see in the very future. It's just of Alexandria on a motorcycle. It's pretty great. 
I'll, um, on my Twitter, there should be like a sneak peek-ish, I think, if I remember to put it on there. I but. do believe there is one. I did stalk you a little because, you know, I like to check out artists. <laughs> so I think I it was the it. version where you hadn't added the arms yet. Ah, yes. Because I saw a little sneak peek and it had the arms. <laughs> yeah, I'm you lucky. You're a special nerd. I am a special nerd. I got like 275 followers on Twitch. I'm like so special. I mean, get on my level, one. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think, while, by the way, I will say this. While I was looking at the uh, notification sounds for like, you know, follow or subscription or something like that, <laughs> it scared the shit out of me because right as I opened it, it said, um, it said, uh, someone followed me because I, it's, it, the sound was kind of loud in my ears and it scared me. I was all like, ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little distracted. Can you repeat that? Oh, I said while I was looking at the stream sounds that I have, mm -hmm. you know, for like follow, cheer, subscribe, host, raid. Yeah. Um, I, as soon as I open the like stream labs thing, it just goes, somebody just followed. And it was, it was like the bitch, why the fuck did you say yes? And it scared, <laughs> the, sh it scared the shit out of me. That's pretty great. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Thanks for scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> but yeah. Obama. 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 Thanks for the follow there, Absol Sama. Did I answer you in DMs yet? Yes, I did. Oh no, fuck! Somebody fucked up my stream. <gasps> I'm, I'm not. I don't exist. I'm not going to say who it was. Somebody, somebody fucked with my stream. How dare they? Not pointing fingers. We don't need to play the blame game. I'm playing the blame game. I blame that guy. Points out a fucking uh. rock. <laughs> and then Patrick gets mad because you're blaming his pet. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes from SpongeBob, I have two. My favorite, my first favorite was uh, when um, it's their first Christmas special that I remember seeing. It's like where SpongeBob is explaining what the fuck Santa is and what Christmas is. Okay, I think I remember that one. Yeah, and like as he's explaining, he's like, and then when he comes, he brings it to you. Meanwhile, Patrick, <laughs> just like a genie. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much, but every time, if I'm in a bad mood, just send that to me. <laughs> just send that clip of Patrick being like, just like a genie. <laughs> For me, that clip would be, um, <clears throat> well, what do you normally do when I'm gone? Wait for you, you to, to get, get back. back. <laughs> it was so sad. It was cute. It was adorable. I love Patrick. Though he my, did become more of an asshole in the later seasons. Yeah. My favorite, my second favorite scene is, um, is when, like, Spongebob and Patrick run away because they stole a balloon on free balloon day. <laughs> That was a really fun episode. That was a fun episode. And it was just... just They're like chilling and Spongebob's like, Yo, I got some chocolate bars, bro. Patrick like scarfs his down, like just inhales it. And then he's just all like... He's just all like, Yo, you stole my chocolate bar. Patrick, this is mine. And then like Spongebob eats it in front of Patrick and he's all like... You took my only food! And it pans down to see his stomach. <laughs> He's all like, you took my only food. Now I'm gonna starve. That show had some gems. 
Yeah, I had some good scenes. If you could collaborate with any content creator, who would it be? I have a couple. Some VTubers that I think you might know. My all-time one that I want to collab with, just to see what would happen, is uh, Project Melody. That totally. could be a very fun conversation, to that say the least. Fun, yeah, yeah, that would be a fun conversation. It would just probably us being lewd together. <laughs> Project Melody, or I want to fucking talk to Shy Lily. Shy Lily? She's live right now. <laughs> Maybe I should raid her and shout her out. She could use a boost. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Project Melody for streaming, and I would probably want to go with Iron Mouse as well. Just have a fun time with both of them. Just, just. Oh yeah, Iron yourself. Mouse would be a ton of fun to talk to. I love her energy. Yeah. Um, for art, though, I actually collab with some of my art friends that I mentioned. Um, if you guys want to know, um, I like have drawn a lot of art of some of my art friends' OCs. One of them, one of their names is uh, Cosmo uh, something. They're on Twitter. You'll find it. But their name is Cosmo. I'm they looking. Do, they do really good art. Gotta be very careful when showing Twitter on t on Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, we got we got Cosmo who does amazing art. I love their stuff so much, especially their like shading and coloring. Oh, it's so good. And then another one that I enjoy looking at, and that I have like not really collabed with per se, but like drawn their OC a couple of times, is um is, uh, uh, what is their name? Imp, or Imptastic, or whatever their handle is on Twitter, because I genuinely forgot. I don't know. I don't know either. I, I just work here. But I follow them on Twitter. They have I a do lot follow a of, good uh, chunk of people. Yeah, same here. <clears throat> Um, let me see. Where are they? Yeah, I can't really find the artists you're talking about. But I did find that sneak peek of your art that you put on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Back on the 10th. Now let me double check. Yes, that doesn't have any stuff that I can't show. Yeah, because you can't really find it. Okay. Be cool. Chat. Be cool. Be cool, chat. Be cool. Don't nosebleed too hard. Okay? Don't nosebleed. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. I don't want to pay that medical bill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, screenception. Because, you know, that's sexy. Chat, you mm -hmm. can see double chat. That's pretty cool. You can see how I see you all. Yeah. And here it is. Maximize. Why not? Gigantamax form. Gigantamax. Why didn't I like that? <gasps> I'm a terrible sister. And I'll you? give you a retweet. <laughs> Just to make up for it. But yes, mm -hmm. I am liking this so far, and I liked the version you sent me as well. Yeah. I have, like, a bunch of stuff, like, planned and everything for that drawing. I, I've been working on my shading for that drawing specifically. By the way, here's Cosmo. Cosmo? Yep, Cosmo. The what about artist. Wanda? We don't talk about her. Wait. Where? Where's I Cosmo? Sent Twitter. Oh, you sent it to Twitter. My first thought was to check um, Discord. I, I sent found. you both Cosmo and Imp. Ah. 
Wow. They have really good shit, right? Like, yeah. Their stuff is so much better than anything I could do, which makes me, like, inspired more. I'm actually in their Discord server right now, just looking at some of the sketches and working progresses that a lot of other artists in this server post. But yeah, it's it's gonna be totally dope to finish that one art piece I have. And once when I do finish it, I'm going to be fulfilled and be happy because I'm just like, Ugh. are you just looking at their stuff now? <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm. I'm distracted. <laughs> I mean, they have a lot of good stuff. Uh, Feel free to. Um, oh God damn it! This is why I don't like having YouTube stream. Feel free to uh, <clears throat> um, follow these guys if you can, if you want. You don't have to if you don't wanna. But they are my dear friends, and they actually have really good stuff, and they deserve all the love. Am I allowed to, like, post it in the chat, like, their link, or no? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I it. link... Yeah, go for it. We're just gonna I do link it, my shit in my account. And, like, you've, you've seen mine. Here you go. Feel free to follow them. Show them lots of love. They have a lot of good stuff. And if you know these artists, gnarly. So, what skill has taken you the longest to improve? Um, it depends on who you ask for this one, because a lot of people that I do use this skill on have different opin opinions. But, um, my singing. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Some people have, like, some people are like, no, you sing, it, your singing voice is just hella rad. And I'm like, oh? <laughs> I'm like, nah, I don't have a good singing voice or whatever, because I'm just like, I just genuinely don't think I have a good singing voice. I mean, I think that too, but then other people always tell me otherwise. One of the favorite songs that some of the people have heard me sing is uh, A Lovely Night from the, uh, I don't, uh, screenplay or play in general. Uh, it's called La La Land. And it has Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. And they really like it when I sing that song. And I'm just like, I don't see why you like it that much, but okay. I mean, people do like singing. They do. They, just, they do. I will say, singing always needs to have, like, background music. Because without the music, it sounds kind of weird. Honestly, it does. It really does. Like, I've seen those, like, like behind the scenes where, like, they're just singing to, like, put, to layer it over the instrumental. And I'm just like, this just feels weird. <laughs> Honestly, I I put out one song that I sang. I think it's not that long of a video anyways. But it didn't have any background music, and it just sounds so weird to me. But people I liked mean, it. Yeah. At least people liked it. But, like, I think everyone can agree on this. When you listen of uh, of something of your own voice, it's gonna sound terrible in your ears. Yeah, yeah, because like it's not like you're like being like, no, I don't think I'm this good. It's just it's just we don't like hearing our own voices, even though we technically 
hear our own voices every day when we speak. It's just when, when you record your voice, it always sounds weird. It sounds like a totally different person sometimes. Uh, yeah, like every time I hear my voice played back, I think it sounds so different than what I hear myself. But I mean, yeah. that's just kind of how we're wired. Yeah. We're wired that way, don't you know? Saiyans only like strong women. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you like to spend your free time not working on content? In what regard? A PG regard, or...? <laughs> In a Twitch TOS regard? Oh. Just don't get graphic, and you can say whatever the fuck you want. Alright, I got you. Okay. Twitch TOS, come for me. Because I'm about to say something so uh. raunchy. I'm gonna say something so raunchy that you won't even fucking know. I play Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. Right, you're gonna it's get, like you're gonna so get hot. You're gonna get taken down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> how, how many Pokemon have you caught? Get on my level. 69. I'm not, I'm not, I'm actually not joking. I've caught 69 Pokemon. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, daddy. So, where do you want to see yourself in five years? Dead. <laughs> um, in five years, how, how, where I want to see myself? I don't know. Um... For me, in general, like, um, in, not in general, for me, when I'm in, when I'm, like, on the internet, I feel more confident to talk to people, but IRL, I am fucking, like, so antisocial. Like, if it's somebody- A lot of I, people I, are that way, honestly. Yeah, if, if I, if I've known the person for a really long time, or at least know of them, I'll be like, I'll open up a little bit, but, like, I just don't want to talk to anybody. It also depends on where you see me. If I'm just out and about, like, chilling, doing my own thing, like, going to an arcade or something, I am very antisocial. But if I'm behind, like, a cash register, I try to make people laugh. Because when I... My very first job was uh, Safeway, which is, if you don't know, is a grocery store. I have heard of them. They exist in Canada. In Canada. <laughs> yes, in that not real country. Yeah. Seriously, we're not a real country. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was a cashier slash bagger when I worked there. Like the worst jobs. Pretty much. But what I did is I made food puns to make try and make people laugh. Because this is when, this is like in the middle of like the hella like COVID era. You know, if my cashier was making food puns at me while I'm trying to get groceries, I would bed them. Just saying. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I... I do usually bed my cashier just because I'm that skilled, and I always use self-checkout. <laughs> you, just, you just bed the fucking self-checkout? <laughs> no, I masturbate. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Anyway, so like, Clipped. I remember this one time when I worked there, um, I, I, I legitimately almost got fired for making food puns. <laughs> so hilarious you heard that. Bed them. <laughs> we back in medieval times. So Laris is an IRL friend of mine. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, so like when I worked at Safeway, I legitimately, from my boss, almost got fired for making food puns. <laughs> how how stupid would that be to be on my record of like jobs I've had? Because like when I, you know, when you go into an interview, they're like, "Oh, uh, you got fired from this job. Why is that?" I wouldn't be able to say making food puns because they probably wouldn't take me seriously. So, why were you fired from your last job? I was too funny. I'm sorry. I was too funny. 
And the reason why my boss was like gonna like fire me is because he thought I was gonna make inappropriate food puns. And by inappropriate, he means this extra virgin olive oil comes down the fucking thing. I'll be like, oh, look, it's my sex life. A Boston cream comes down. Oh, God, I wish I was that. <laughs> exactly. He he made it seem like I didn't have any restraint on making my food puns. The only food puns I would make, by the way, all these food puns were made on the fly. I didn't have I didn't prepare for any of them. Nice. Um, Let's say they have, like, ground beef or something, or hot dogs. I'll be like, man, this doesn't really meet my expectation. Or I'll be like, man, relish the thought. Like, as their items came down, I would auto-generate puns in my head. I personally do love puns, but there's so many people that don't have a sense of humor about them. Yeah, 100%. It just depends on who you say it to. And... My boss at that time actually did ask me, one of my bosses, not the one that wanted to fire me, but one of my bosses, her name's Taylor. I fucking love her. She's so nice. I love Taylor, too. She's nice. I just don't hate um, hey. She's, like, really nice. Uh, she, actually, uh, she actually asked, uh, asked me, like, yo, why do you make so many food puns? Like, not that I'm, like, against the food puns, but, like, why do you make them so much? I'm like, oh. I say because we need a time we need a bit of euphoria in a time of panic. Yeah. That's why I made the food puns. And a lot of the time, even if people don't like the food puns, it's going to get their mind off of other things for at least a little bit. Yeah, at least like a couple of hours maybe. Oh, that would be amazing. You make like an offhanded joke and then they spend 5 years trying to analyze it. <laughs> probably um there was one time i made a food pun to like these uh middle school teachers and my boss pulls me aside and is like yo these people just want to get their groceries and like leave and then the two after the two um uh middle school teachers come by they're like yo don't diss on this person they actually made my day and thank you uh little missy for the material because i'm going to use that in my class It was great. <laughs> I love that. That does sound pretty great. It sounds awesome. And what's yeah. cool is that a lot of people that, like, frequented the store a lot, um, after I left, like, I quit. I didn't put in my two weeks. I just left. Um, I come by to, like, Safeway to get my medicine from the pharmacy. Yeah. And every time someone that knows me from, like, making the food pun, they're like, Oh my god, it's food pun guy! <laughs> it's and food pun lady. It's food pun lady. They might not respect you, but I fucking do. <laughs> right? And it's not like only them, a lot of my old co co-workers that actually got to know me. Uh, are like, oh my god, it's Alex! Hi, Alex! I'm like, okay, guys, calm down. I know you miss me, but calm down. I am just one woman. Some people just simp. I mean, some people just shrimp. <laughs> shrimp. Yeah, I I can't say that other word on um on Twitch and talk to say it about other people. Hmm. Because, you know, the they ban. Yeah. They get so offended, like, can't even call white people salted tops on here anymore. Salted tops? I've never heard that in my life. That's literally the no-name brand name for, um, <laughs> saltines for those crackers. I can say at that time, right, Twitch? Yeah. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. I think you're self safe. Self safe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I think self. I'm safe. I'm self. Do, do, do. Watch out for my self. Right. I was going to also update that. But while I'm doing that, um, what's your favorite music? Music genre? No, I like the other one. Music. Music? What um, music do you like? 
my yeah, music, record my own video. <laughs> my music is pretty much all over the place, um, except for country. I just do not like country that much. Um, I've heard some bangers. Yeah, I've heard some bangers too. Um, it's just like I can only listen to country only once. Like, let's say I'm in a, I'm in a, my job. All right, I can only listen to country for a short amount of time before I need to go and listen to my own music to like, you know, be like, oh, okay, this is good. But if I would say, well, my favorite song is right now is Pain by Three Days of Grace. Without love? Yep. Pain. You can't get enough? I can't get enough pain. I like it rough. Because I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. Oh. Such a good song. It's about BDSM. I fucking love it. <laughs> Another song about BDSM is um, For Your Entertainment by Adam Lambert. Fucking. That song came up while I was playing my music in the car with my parents. And they were bopping their head to it, and then they started holding hands. Kumbaya! I did not need that image in my head! Why did that song play then? It's a good song, but the context made it awkward. I'm glad they're having fun. I don't want to know about it. Oh my god. Um, another good song that I like is from another content creator on YouTube. His name is The Do, and he does a lot of good, like, funny clips of, like, Rainbow Six Siege or whatever, and he plays guitar really well. One of the songs that I listen to on repeat is, um, But I Pretend, um, I Pretend, uh, But I Pretend I'm a Beginner. What's cool is that you can play it on stream and not get, like, a copyright claim. Wait, it's... playing what? Oh, the song I was just saying. It's called, uh, I Pre But I Pretend I'm a Beginner. Oh. I thought you were... I'm not stoned enough, I'm sorry. I thought you were saying, um... That if you play songs like a beginner, you get away with it. And no, like, no, 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 no. What? No, no. This... No, um, the song, but I pretend I'm a beginner is just so really good. It brings me back to the early 2000s of Screamo. I remember those. Those um, days. If you, if you want to, I'll send you the, a, a link to the oh. song. Because it's, it's a really good song. I like it. Link it. I don't listen to a lot of um, screamo or death metal anymore, but I do still have some in my playlists. Mm -hmm. I sent song. it on Twitter. When, if you ever want to check it out, it's such a good banger. I will definitely check it out after stream. Yeah, check it out. You'll like it. What song would be played endlessly on loop in your personal hell? Hmm. <laughs> uh, it would probably be, um... It would be September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. How does that one go? I, I've heard of that Do band. I don't know. Uh, of September. I've heard that TikTok song. Yeah. It's Do I remember? No, I don't. No. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> but yeah, it would it would most likely be um September by Earth Wind and Fire. I don't know. What you said, Mr. I can't pronounce your name, so I'm going to call you Mr. Morbius. Morbius. He's Morbin. It's nowhere even near Morbius, but it's got an M and a couple O's and then like a B and an S at the end. But my it's like way longer. With a B, and I've been afraid of insects my whole life. Stop, stop, stop. Where? 
Hmm? Where's the bee? There's a bee! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh. Oh my, it's been popular in my Discord. You're popular on your Discord. You thought Nightbot <laughs> was in the stream? Do I have Nightbot on YouTube? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know, man. I just work here. Hey. Yo. Hey, yo. You dropped your May, yo. Where is it? I don't know. I think it's over there. Um, has anyone really been far even has decided to use even go want to do look more like? Call 1-800-55-whatever to go as far as just common sense. <laughs> I don't remember that whole entire spiel. Oh, well. So you were aware of that question already. It was like an old internet meme. Yeah, it was an old internet meme. It was a good one, too. Yeah, it was a really good one. I was caught so off guard when I first read it. I had to read it like 200 times. Oh, now back oh. to the real questions, because I'm done ambushing you. Mm-hmm. What food do you like that not many others do? Well, I, I don't know too many people that don't like this food because my all-time favorite food is spaghetti. I love spaghetti. I love spaghetti too, but only if you snap the spaghetti in half before boiling it so you don't have to spin it as much. Mm, yeah. And I just got blocked by all the Italians in my chat. I'm an Italian. I'm right here. You blocked me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I'm an Italian. <gasps> Italiano. Papa da Pinata, next question. <laughs> hmm? It's a type of Czech food called hoska. I probably butchered that pronunciation. Most likely. I've I've had borscht. That stuff's good. Hmm. What does your ideal breakfast include? French toast. Oh, we're besties. <laughs> French toast, bro. All the way. It's so good. Especially homemade. Hmm. I actually pronounced it right? Yay! Huska. Huska. I don't know. I, Mickey Mouse. I got it right the first time. <laughs> I got it right the first time. That's what matters. That's my gold medal. <laughs> the war is canceled. Perfect. I win. I'm the wiener. <laughs> Hold um, on a second. Wiener doesn't mean winner. It means sausage. <gasps> I need to get some wieners. Now I'm hungry for hot dogs. God damn it. I'm hungry for something hot dog shaped. Bananas? Wink wink. Ah, 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 ah I'm, I, you can't tell because I haven't enabled it, but I'm winking at you. Golapki is your favorite? I've never... It's Polish stuffed cabbage. That... Stuffed cabbage? How... How do you stuff a cabbage? Magic. You just stick your dick in it. If you have to chew your banana, you're not skilled enough. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yes, I'm clipping myself on that one. That's a if banger. You chew your banana. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be slutty enough. Fuck yeah. America, fuck yeah. Come Coming again to save my fucking day, yeah. day, yeah. Oh, that song. Good one. 
What topic could you talk about the most? Anime. Nice. It just depends on which anime we're talking about. If it's just anime in general, it's like, yo, this anime is pretty dope. Okay. If bullseye egg on toast with cream cheese. I don't know what a bullseye egg is. Should look into it. It's a bull's eye. Is that yeah. like where you stand in a circle around the egg and you aim for it? And yeah. I can't go into more detail because I'm on Twitch. Yeah. And and I think YouTube, I don't know YouTube's standards. So far, I've been making dirty jokes and I haven't gotten in trouble. <laughs> Look at a little, then put sausage and sauce mist. You're going to make me golab, golab key you. Bullseye looks like the emoji. Oh, so it's like you draw a little bullseye on it with ketchup or something. Oh. Or maybe something less spicy. Come. <laughs> so who is the most interesting person you have talked to or you have met or interacted with? Like YouTube hears this and then the FBI open up. Yeah, probably. I'm waiting for that day. I'm waiting. Um, most interesting Lumpy. person that I've interacted with would probably have to be... I don't talk to them that much because we're both pretty busy, but at occasions I will like be like, Hey, what's up? Or just pop in and be like, Hey, yo, let's chill. Um, is probably the majority of my art friends because when i talk to them it just feels nice it feels like a home because like we're all pretty busy we're busy bees you know we're busy bees yeah i've drifted away from some friendships because not because we've fallen out of love. interest or love of each other it's just life is taking the wheel they're raising we a family i'm on twitch we're just different. We still hang out occasionally, just not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with the, the majority of my art friends. We sometimes will just hang, or just if they're like if they're in a call, like showing like that they like showing what they're drawing currently. Ooh. I believe. Yeah. Imp. Um. Imp also streams on here, and occasionally, occasionally only does art stream. They occasionally stream on here and stream their art stuff, and it's really cool, and I like it. There was a moment in time when I was doing an art, an, uh, an art stream, and fucking, they followed me as I was streaming, and it, they're like, I, because they were in my chat for like a little bit, they're like, yo, nice shit, and I'm like, thanks, man, and I thought they left because I thought they had like something to do. Yeah. So they follow me on Twitch and it scared the ever living shit out of me because I wasn't paying too much attention to like the chat or anything. It just goes it goes, if testicle has 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 followed you and I'm like, oh <gasps> I'm like, oh, you don't say. Oh you're still listening. <laughs> Great. Pretty much, pretty much I'm just like, oh hi. <laughs> oh god it's like when my IRL friends do pop into my stream oh my god I'm waiting for the day that my fucking parents pop into my stream oh god it's going to happen I know it my dad follows my tiktok <laughs> yeah That'll be fun. That'll, that'll be a very great Christmas if they figure it out before Christmas. My family doesn't even know I stream. All they know is that I draw. And that's it. And I want to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm pretty open about being on streams. Streamy weemy. Okay.
First comment you made on stream was a dance pizzeria advertisement? Now I want pizza. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Dad. Sent me Golumski? Bitch, why you guys send me food, uh, pictures of delicious food? Bro, how dare you? Oh yeah, if you guys want to watch Imp stream their, like, st uh, draw or whatever, feel free to give them a follow. They stream here on Twitch whenever they can. Kind of like me. I I don't have a set schedule. I just stream whenever I feel like it. <sighs> For me, it is Saturday and Sunday, because I am not streaming during the week. Mm -hmm. I will, I however, join other people's streams if they want to collab during the week, and, like, they want me to chat with them or join a game, and we schedule it ahead of time, but I don't stream it there. Hello, Yeef, Leaf Yin. How you doing? You just Welcome ate a sausage hell. biscuit? <sighs> Goddamn chat bullying me. E bullying me. <laughs> That's okay, I'm not great at streaming either. If you could have lucid dreams, what would they be about? <laughs> Love you too, Pink. Me just dr me just eating a bunch of food. Okay, that would be a pretty solid dream. Right? <laughs> Nothing but tasty tasties. And now I'm Go and listen kitchen. while you work. Enjoy the lurking. Thank you, Leaf. Uh, Leaf. <laughs> food. Oh, well, that does make me stop wanting food. <clears throat> now back to the topic. Let's talk about dreaming about eating food. <laughs> I I would just want to dream about eating food. There's no explanation. I'm just a hungry nerd in general. For me, it's I want lewd dreams, but literally every time before penetration, I wake up. So I'm kind of mad at getting blue balled by my own fucking brain. I just don't <laughs> want dreams anymore. I just don't want dream. Can I? Can I? Is there a return policy? Is there a return policy on dreams? Please. <laughs> Please. Do you have a receipt? No. Fuck! Fuck! Is, is, the, is the package still in the box? Oh, I'll put my package in your box if you don't take away my dreams. <laughs> I just want to return. I just want to live a lewd life. <laughs> I love you all too platonically. You know, in a very parasocial way. Wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. Uh, oh, I, I actually, I'm winking at you guys, don't worry. I actually am going to be streaming later tonight when I get back home from work. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to do Baby's First Jump King stream. Jump King? Yeah, Jump King. Is that the just... fighting game from Shonen Jump? Nope. It's just a platform jumper with very hard levels. Wait, jump kick? King. K-I-N-G. Do. Hi, humble hedgehog. Welcome to hell. Howdy, humble. Uh, Yuchiru, I think, um, Alex here mostly does Twitch streams. Do you yeah. stream in reality at all, or do you just use that as, like, an animated avatar? I, I don't stream in reality, because it's mainly just a, it's mainly a just chatting thingy. It is. You don't, you, you don't really play games. You do get to watch videos with people, but, eh. I mainly just stream on Twitch, <laughs> or if you want to see me stream. I mainly just stream on Twitch, and um, I do have a Twitter. It's linked on my Twitch channel. Speaking of that, I uh, if you want to see me draw, not safe for work stuff, there is a link in there for a place that I actually stream my not safe for work content. 
Wait, which which platform? Um, let's go look at it. I don't remember the name. Don't do don't... it to yourself. <laughs> don't, don't play remember. Jump King. <laughs> jump. I'm gonna play Jump King. I've actually wait. I one. do know Jump King. I've seen an AI beat it. So yeah, um, on my Twitch. Everything is basically linked there. My the YouTube channel, my Twitter, my Instagram, and um, Picardo, which is another streaming place where a lot of NSFW artists stream. What I want to do is um, meth. I wish I could afford it. I wouldn't do it. I just wish I could afford it. I just wish I could afford it. I wouldn't do it. I swear, officer. I, <laughs> I promise. I, I only like the way it smells. One of my um, favorite things... Plenty of good clips I, this stream. Yeah. One of my favorite things that I quote a lot is from a comedian. His name is Randy Feltface. And he's just know. a... It's a puppet comedian. And he talks about, like, when he just wants to, like, uh, antagonize the cops just to make them pull him over. So he said this. He's like, I basically want to act drunk around cops. When <laughs> and he just goes like this. He's, like, pretending to be the cop. He's like, um, can you roll down your window, sir? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm doing it. Ah, uh, it's electric. The button's in the middle because it's electric. Sir, can you blow into this? Takes the blow, um, the breathalyzer, and then just tries to drink it like a flask. Actually, he does it like this. It's all like a, it's all like, can you please blow into this? Yeah, sure. Questions, you know, country. People say, you know, people say he's a cunt, but I don't reckon you are. <sighs> looks at the fucking breathalyzer and it's like says that they're not drunk that would be so much fun to fuck with cops with and he's as like, for uh, country i am canadian i'm not i don't really want to ask um alex to dox herself well i can't drink anyway not because of age just because my liver doesn't want me to no i just yeah. don't drink personally that's a lie. You drink water. I meant alcohol, but no, I actually don't. I drink <gasps> pop. How could you? Well, can't believe you. I one was of those... a Twitch affiliate, and then chat got their hands on the fucking hydrate redeem. They tried to drown me. I swore off water then and there. <laughs> you make it sound like you had a. You're at a, uh, 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 Thanks for uh, stopping uh, by, Mr. Mordro. You make Modro. it sound like you're at, like, a, uh, a, 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 a fucking, uh... Drama queen? Is... Yes, I am. No, 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 not that. What is the thing that people go to when Hello, they're King. like, Hi, my name is whatever, and I am swearing off drinking or whatever. It's oh, like, a little... like going to AA? <clears throat> yeah, that... I just imagine you going to an AA meeting and everyone's like, yo, I'm just getting off cocaine or I'm getting off alcohol or, or whatever. And you're just like, I swore off drinking water. Because <laughs> of fucking chat. Because of chat. They tried to drown <laughs> me. <laughs> no, if I were to go to AA, I would be laughed out of there immediately. I would show up like, hey... I'm Brittany. I'm just trying to smoke weed a little less. I'm not trying to stop. <laughs> I'm just trying to smoke weed a little less. <laughs> <laughs> just laugh at you and it's like, go away. Get the fuck out of here. Get the hell out of here. This is people this is for people with real problems, like Jimmy over there. He can't yeah, so we can Jimmy. indoctrinate them into Christianity. Oh, do you wanna know a funny story of when I went to church for the first time? I don't even remember the first time I went. I was indoctrinated as a baby. But yes, I want to hear that story. 
Okay, so let me let me set the scene. I am like I believe maybe like nine, maybe eleven, somewhere in that spectrum. My dad is like, okay, kids, we're going to church. He doesn't take my sister because she was at she was at work, so she legitimately couldn't come. But he takes me, and you know, like the pastor or whatever the dude is, the the priest is like greeting as at, at the door greeting everyone like hello my son daughter whatever my child he's he gets to me and he's just like hello my child and i am tired as fuck because we woke up at the ass crack of dawn and because that's when I, jesus is awake so you can praise him yeah and all i much was able to like say to him was this eh <laughs> that's crazy. Because I'm because I'm like barely awake, okay? I I can't be social when I'm half awake. Barely awake and I'm willing to bet very young. Oh yeah, 100%. Let me say this. Um this kind of ties into why Alexandria is half demon. I take one step into the church and my nose begins to bleed. And and the priest just looks at me like Diablo. He doesn't <laughs> he doesn't Diablo. say anything. He just looks at me and he's like Diablo. And another thing about little me, I used to sleepwalk with my eyes open. So while the what priest the is, fuck? And you really are part like, demon. I am. While the priest is like you know talking to everybody like praise Jesus or whatever. I fall asleep while sitting in the pews, and I my dad says this to me because I have no knowledge. All I remember is me waking up in a in a field of flowers next to the parking lot. <laughs> um, he my dad says this. He says he says you like were sleepwalking, and you walk towards the pasture, and he thought you were gonna ask him a question. No, you tilt the pew to where it falls over. <laughs> and proceed to punch the priest in the dick and walk outside. Fucking Giga Chad, move! <laughs> I didn't. I had no knowledge of this because all I remember is, is like waking up in the field. I'm like, what the fuck happened last night? <laughs> King, you drank a gallon of milk while sleepwalking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dude and let me tell you the pasture like the next day like not the next day but the next whatever day that we we're supposed to go to church yeah the next service yeah that i don't care what it's called but <laughs> the next time i go in he says hello to my dad and he just like as soon as he sees me he gets all scared <laughs> He gets so scared, he's just like, like with a shaky voice, he's like, Hell alone, my child. And then I'm like, Sup, dude. That's uh, pretty great. It's a great a story. Job? Have I done a good job? It's so good. Thanks for the sub there, King, on YouTube. That, oh my god, that is a great story. I know. It's one of my favorites. People need to hear that one more. It's it's just good. It's just too good, bro. It's too good. Speaking of stories, what story has had the biggest impact on you? Um, Probably when I split my head open and had to get stitches. I was thinking like a book, but oh. go with that. <laughs> I thought you meant like, okay. Um, if you <laughs> want to know, I actually have a scar on my forehead that resembles the Harry Potter scar. <gasps> Did you and get Voldemorted too? Pretty much, but I was Voldemorted by a fucking infant because they pushed me out of a fucking window. The infants are from hell. You cannot yeah. convince me otherwise. I'm a succubus. I was there. Um. Anyway, I got kicked so, out for being too wholesome. 
So for my scar on my forehead, it's not as visible, <laughs> not as much visible as before. Of like when I got it, obviously. But, um, I was a I was a wee babby. I wasn't like you know like nine or whatever. I was just a baby. My mom drops me off at daycare because she has to go to work. She works at I think at this time she worked as a nurse. I don't remember. But she drops me off at the daycare and she's like, "Okay, goodbye, son." This is obviously yeah, you know. She's like, "Goodbye, hun." And I don't even say goodbye because I'm a baby, but I, all I do is beeline it for those big Lego blocks. <laughs> and um, I miss those. I miss those too. <laughs> I beeline it for the big Lego block stuff. And this other kid was also beelining it for the Lego blocks. My mom leaves, closes the door, and the caretaker's just chilling, watching all of us. There was only five of us, but just watching sees me and the other dude going for the Lego thing, which is on, like, a little windowsill, like, sitting area. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. I know that yeah. exact specific spot. One, what are we talking two. about? <laughs> so, the Lego blocks are on, on this window-esque thing to where you can basically just sit down on it and chill. It's like a window... Um... I don't know what it's called. I have to find out what the name is. But basically, I get up there, get the Legos, and so does the other kid. He apparently was, like, not having the, you know, non-sharing is caring type thing. Pushes me through the window, and I fall on the pavement. <laughs> Ooh. And my favorite thing about this, sh about this story is the phone call that my mom got for it. This is how it went down. She goes like this. She's all like, she's chilling at work. She just got there, by the way. Huh? She, like, puts her stuff in, like, she puts her stuff down, and then she immediately gets a call on her phone before she, like, goes into her room to help a patient. She goes, like, she goes, oh, it's Alex's daycare. Let me, let me pick this up. Hello? And then she, the daycare person's like, hey, um, now don't panic. But your son's bleeding on the pavement outside. Oh. And my mom, like, That's... doesn't even answer anything. She just drops her phone and goes to her car and comes and gets me. Yeah, and, like, I probably would react the same way, too, if I got that exact fucking call. Mm-hmm, same here. Don't panic, um, but your kid's bleeding. She, I get my, uh, it's the top scar, that is the window, and then there's a bottom scar, which is a totally different accident that happened in the same day. The same day? How <laughs> lucky are you? Very lucky. <laughs> so I get it stitched up, my mom takes me home, her work was like, yo, you can go ahead and like go home and take care of your kid, obviously. My favorite movie at this time, and kind of currently, is the... 2D Aladdin movie. I um, can show you the world. Just don't file harassment. <laughs> so she puts on the movie and then goes upstairs to like grab something. I wake up because I obviously fell asleep in the movie because I'm a baby. <laughs> Um, she says that I climbed the stairs and went to her room, and the door kind of comes outward, all right? She oh. opens her bedroom door, and wham! Right in this almost the exact same spot where I just got stitches. Ow! And then her first words were, Damn it, Alex, now we have to go back. Yeah, that's that's your fault. <laughs> And then I got those stitches. <laughs> Jesus. And, and then I became Harry Potter. <laughs> I mean, that's not the only injury that I have on my head. I have a hole in the back of my head, courtesy of my sister. A hole? Mm-hmm. If you want to know... 
she threw a rock at the back of my head. But a hole. It was a very sharp rock. I guess so. Anyway, that's my family history. What about yours? <laughs> <laughs> I basically family almost, history. I basically uh, almost died <laughs> twice. <laughs> It was great. That that does sound sound like an event. Coop, I will say Coop, that. Don't be a pansy. Death is a concept invented by the Jedi. That's true, actually. Anyway. <laughs> Go away, notifications. I don't need you. Um... Is there anything on your mind you feel should have more attention brought to it? Nah, I don't have anything. <laughs> then oh. we will go with the default trans rights. Oh, trans rights. But wait, how, how can you have trans rights if you're left-handed? Oh, fuck. <laughs> What do you rebel against? Besides everything? <laughs> yes. Alright. Um, so, when I... This is like the main thing that I rebel against. And <sighs> it's just basically... Um, I rebel against myself. Oh, uh, it's like that meme of the person holding the crowbar behind another person, and the first person is me, the crowbar is me, and the person they're about to attack is me. Yep. Yeah, that meme. Yep, I yeah. just rebel against myself a lot, because sometimes I, like, have a disagreement with myself, <laughs> and I'm just like, no, it's this, no, it's this. Well, I mean, I do talk to myself, too. Sometimes I need an expert opinion. Mm -hmm. Can you tell yourself I said hi? I will. Thank you. She says hi back. Oh, what a fast response. <laughs> <laughs> so It's totally not like they're the same person. <laughs> yeah, totally not. Well, Don't worry anyway. about it. <laughs> what do Boy. you wish was illegal? With an I. I'm bad at pronouncing that. Idiocy. <laughs> Make idiocy illegal. No, how about this? Make rednecks illegal. That's like... Like half my family. Cool, they're illegal now. Away with you! <laughs> that's, that's okay, I don't really talk to them much. I mean, <laughs> the first time I've ever seen my extended family in quite a few years, also first time post-transition, was for a celebration of life for my aunt. We talked politics, because that was the first time we saw each other in years, and obviously politics came up. I had a great time talking about politics, then I went out for a smoke, came back, and we never talked about politics again. Found out on the car ride home, my mom overheard the guy saying that I was talking to mostly was saying, yeah, I, I'm not going to bring up politics again. I love to talk politics. Found family is better anyways. It's so true. Family is better. It just depends on who you want to have in your family. Blood is thicker than water, but cum is thicker than blood. And can you really be my friend if we're not allowed to come together? As friends? Gotta kiss your homies goodnight. <laughs> yeah, in a gay way. All of the gay. You're wearing socks? Here, let me take those off. <laughs> Bro, you've had a long day. Just let me rub your feet. No, that's not what I meant. There's, there's, <laughs> there's, a, there's a thing in the U.S. where... There's, like, a lot of kids in high school, um, 
when I was in high school, they started saying, it's not gay if I'm wearing socks. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> That's why I said, yo, let me take your socks off, then we can be gay. Let's do it. I'm going to get my socks off right now. I'm already not wearing socks or anything at all besides underwear. You, you want to send me pics? If you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the weirdest way you've ever met somebody? Probably this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The This was, I remember this, like, so clearly. I was in high school, and I'm I'm a nerd, by the way, with Dungeons and Dragons. What? League of, you, League of Legends, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic Gathering. Yeah, an artist. But, How can an artist um, be a nerd? Magic. Friendship is gay. I mean, magic. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, I yeah, was this. I was I in my it. Dungeons and Dragons club mm -hmm. and there was this new person that just joined the club and they're like obviously like they're very shy. They kinda are having they're kinda like they're kinda having like a hard time talking to people, which can relate, you know, everyone can relate to that. Um, All you introverts can, I mean. I'm, sure. I'm more of an extrovert. <laughs> Yeah, because you like being extra. Yeah. Yeah. I like to be I mean, the center of attention. Except for I, in three places. The classroom, the courtroom, and the bathroom. Oh. How did you win this court case? PG related reasons. <laughs> Look, I used the Wookiee defense. Let's go with that one. No, I, was... I, employ, I deployed the tactical question. Anyway, so this new person came into the club. I wanted to, like, you know, introduce myself. So I, I like, while they're making their character sheet, they kind of got stuck on one part. And I'm just like, here, I got you, dog. What are you, what are you stuck with? And they're very shy. They're all like, um, uh, uh, well, I don't know how to do this. I'm like, okay, I got you, dog. It's easy. You do it like this. And then... I help them out, and they start to get, like, more, like, comfortable with everybody. And here's where the weird part comes in. Since I was the first person to, like, talk to them, they didn't know my name at all, because they never asked. I didn't even open with my name. I just offered my assistance. They just said this. You know... I kind of figured you'd be the first person to talk to me, and I was like, why? They say, well, because you seem like you want to get in everybody's pants. <gasps> Sister! <laughs> I'm all like, what? Mood kindred. <laughs> I'm like, no, I just wanted to help you out and get to know you, you freaking Voltorb. And if I get into your pants, that's a bonus. That's a bonus. You'll meet me in the stock room later. What that stock room do? <laughs> they, they mop. Oh, I'll give them something to mop up. Lick me dry. <laughs> anyway, um. Any nope. anyway. That oh. was the that was the most weirdest interaction I've had with somebody. It's just like you just seem like you would get into everybody's pants. And then the other one that was my favorite is when I met my friend Juan. He said he was hesitant to, like, talk to me for one reason. And he said, dude, honestly, I legitimately thought you were just going to kick my ass. And I'm like, why the fuck would I do that? I don't even know you. <laughs> when we first met, I thought you were going to kick my ass. The fuck would you say that for? The fuck you say to me, you little <laughs> just shit? drop that voice on them. I love doing that and just fucking with my friends. The only voice that my friends like me doing is Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Ruh row. Ruh row, Raggy. <laughs> like Scoob. They said <laughs> we were going to get sandwiches. 
Okay. So like scoop. I, when they said fixing, I thought they meant like fixing on a sandwich. Reggie, what are my resticles? I love that one so much. I love it so much. It's so good. You were the chosen one, Scoob. It said you would destroy monsters, not become one. <gasps> Who underestimated my power? Like, don't try it, Scooby Doo. <laughs> Like, you were my brother, man. I loved you. I loved you. Well, I rate you, Reggie. What's the most amazing natural occurrence you've ever witnessed? I'm gonna piss myself. <laughs> That's, That's a pretty good natural occurrence. Um, I would say natural occurrence for me is just watching my body develop to the feminization. Oh my god, looking down and you see boob? Yeah. That helps. Like, a yeah. lot. Yeah, it does. Or just looking down and seeing how, like, <laughs> this is kind of funny, this ties into this, but, um... I'm. I was always like very like I was a chubby kid back then. Hey, before same. I, before I started transitioning, so I am very thick on my thighs and my hips already, and kind of had like a little that. bit of boobage there too. Um. But I will say when I before transition, before I transitioned, I. <laughs> I was like, man, my thighs are getting, like, really, like, gargantuan. I probably should slim down. And then now I'm like, <laughs> thick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I just want to lose the gut some, but I don't care about being thick. I just don't like that overhang aesthetically as much. That's really it. Yeah, it's Boob here. and peen. Yeah, that's me and you, Pink. Ooh. I'm a category in R34. To put it that way. I'm a category 4 hurricane. And I'm gonna rock you like that hurricane. <laughs> Wet and wild when you come and take all my shit when you leave? Nice. Yep. Worth. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm gonna take your fucking exercise ball. Ah, oh, I only got the one. Exactly. The other I one know. popped. Is it because you stuffed your dick in it? No, it's because it, they were big, blue, and too full. Mm. So yeah, you stuck your dick in it. <laughs> yeah, I stuck my dick in it. <laughs> Would you ever try space tourism if given the chance? Maybe. Depends on where the fuck I'm going. If I'm going to, like, fucking... I'm just going to make up a random thing, a uh, random star system of Vega 6. I'm going to fucking, like, the place where trans people can be themselves. Y'all stop? No, we're too funny. We can't, we can't not, we can't not. I cannot. I, I would want to go to Vega 6 too, because there's plenty of stuff to put my dick in. Yeah, like that tree over there. There's a tree? Yeah, it's over there, man. I gotta, I gotta do a thing. I'll be right back. Hold on. Just off in the distance, you just hear. Just, uh, just, just don't, don't mind me. I, I got, I, I gotta do a thing. And on the trans planet, nudity is legal. Wait, somebody said legal nudity. I'm back. I did. Yay. I said on the in Vegas Six, there's a, tr a place where trans people can be themselves. I, oh. and nudity is illegal. Is is uh, is legal? I was fucking around with my VTuber, made her leave the screen for a bit. I know, I saw that. It was fun. There. Um. On to the next question. What do you resent paying for the most? My sister. 
Ooh, shots fired. That one's getting clipped and going out live. <laughs> In all honesty, me and my sister do get along sometimes. But most of the time, it's just all like, eh, it's basic sibling rivalry. For me, that, that's me and my older brother. Me and my little brother actually get along. Oh, same here. And my older sister, I do not talk to her at all. I know for a fact that when I eventually get my own place, I probably won't talk to my sister that much. For why I don't talk to my sister, I will say this. When I came out, she used that as an, ex as an excuse to try and proselyte proselytize the religion back to me. I'd, I'd left Christianity and her husband's a pastor. So, they're, they're pretty big on that. Alright, where's my axe? Where's my axe? Where, where did, <laughs> where, where did she live? Canada. Okay, I'm on my way. <laughs> I got my axe. <laughs> Oh, we had a conversation about it. Don't you worry. Good. Um, what workers have the worst job? Sex workers. But I like my job. No, I'm <laughs> saying, like, some guys don't clean their fucking downstairs is what I mean. Oh, my God, I know. That's why I, I, I just wish it was legal so I could work in a brothel and if you're not going to shower, I'm not going to service you. Yeah, exactly. I don't care. That's why, like, most of the time when I date a guy, I always, like, and they want me to go down on them, I'm going to be like, here, how about this? How about you go down in the shower first? And then we'll talk. Yeah, I, I, I can relate to that. Yeah. Though, I mean, it does depend to me a little um if they haven't showered in a few days and they've been working and shit yeah hop in the shower and i'll throat you but are are you asking for some we'll dm later but like if you shower and then go hit the gym and work up that sweat, sweat mama don't mind well, big sis don't mind. I'm not into mama stuff. I have a good oh, relationship with my parents. I don't know why I'm clapping, but my thing is doing that now. <laughs> yeah, I I, that, why that's I why I prefer, like, labeling myself as big sister of the VTuber community kind of thing. I actually have, a, like, a little chat group called um, sisters dot dot dot, but with knives. With knives? What those knives yeah, do? I don't know. But okay. all the all the sisters in this uh, chat are all VTubers. <gasps> and they're all really nice. There are two sisters that are also trans, male to female. And it just feels like home. Nice. I'm actually working on a drawing of all of them together. Ooh. I want to uh, see that when it's done. <laughs> I'm still in the sketch phase. Um, because, like, I'm sketching out, like, the uh, the hairstyle of one of my friends' VTuber models. Because it's... For hairstyles, I kind of get stuck sometimes. And I just work on, like, what they're wearing. That's fair. Yeah. Put him in a hat or something so you don't got to worry about it. I'll give him a beanie. Perfect. Perfect. What was I going to say? I, I forget. Oh, right. Yeah, my community, like my Discord and stuff, it's actually a big number of trans people. There are allies and straight people in there, but it's mostly trans and queer people. But then my, um, or like trans femmes mostly, actually. But then fucking my YouTube analytics, it's like 70% dudes. 70% dudes? Yeah. And they're gnarly. I'm they're not gonna... surprised about that. I mean... 
All right, here. Hold I on. do like Give dudes. A second, I gotta grab some. Luckily for me, it's really not that far away from the mic. Okay, oh, that's good. <sighs> Your VTuber's dying a little, but that mm -hmm. does happen when you walk away. Yeah, it happens. It happens to the best of us. God damn it, I want a fucking iPhone so I can have tracking close to that. Hmm. Here, I'll, I, I'll show you. There's a total of five of us in that chat group, by the way. Wait a second. Can't I... download models to reality? Or do I have to build them entirely in that game? You have to build them entirely in the thingy. Oh, that sucks. I was thinking of a different thing then. v Studio Mobile or something. v Studio. I just want better face tracking and to not have to take up my computer's processing too much. It's like five yeah. years old. I got upgraded before I can really get back into gaming streams and having the 3D VTuber. Yeah. Here you go. I sent you the drawing, by the way. Hey, on Discord this time. Yeah. Ooh. Sod. Papa Roach. I listen to both those bands on occasion. <laughs> hey, who's friending me? I don't know. Chloe! Um. What change would you like to see in the VTuber community? Less drama, please. I'm kind of a drama channel. <laughs> just well, saying. I just mean drama in general of like some rando that's not even like that doesn't even know the VTuber in general that spreads like something like not correct. If you get what I mean, just, like basically spreading drama just to gain some clout. Well, I mean, drama is the most viewed shit, unfortunately. Yeah, it is. I'm just glad no one spread any drama about me, besides my ex. Well, fuck your ex and not in the fun way. Well, I mean, I couldn't, regardless, because she lived in, like, Missouri. Yeah. And I live in the Mile High City, a.k.a. Fort Collins, Colorado. Where everything, where there's a weed store at every corner. Colorado? Why there? Because, because, because there's a lot I was, of weed it's here. okay. It's, uh, I, I would be in Colorado too, honestly. Um, nice. I was quoting Digimon. Digimon, gotta catch him. Oh. Hey, you know it. I know Digimon. I'm winding down to the last question I got. Mm. So, what things in your life are you grateful for? The people I meet and my sisters. My VTuber sisters, I mean. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. just grateful for that, for like all the people that I've met via the interwebs. There are a lot of wonder wonderful people out there. Yeah. There'll and a lot of not of... so wonderful. Yeah. That's why you do what I do when I have that problem. Listen to hardcore death metal and walk away. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that, that winds me down to the last question. That's all of them. Oh, I will not do butt stuff. <laughs> Aw. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not going to make you, but... Aw. Aw. <laughs> What's the last question? Lay that was me. it. Oh, that was it? That was it? Yeah, that was it. That was actually the first... Yeah, what things in your life are you grateful for? It's the last question. <gasps> Because, oh, like, I... before it used to just kind of end on a downer of, like, which workers have the worst jobs. I'm like, no, I got to kind of 
I gotta kind of end the videos on some better note than getting into that. But yeah, I got, that... a, I got, a, I got a question for chat. Hold on. Oh, chat, you're getting called out. Yeah, here you go, chat. Here's your question. Oh, chat, you better answer this correctly, because there Bacon. is a correct answer, and yes, yeah. it is. Bacon or sausage? Which is it? Bacon or sausage? Which one? Only one Bacon. correct answer. Only one correct. God damn right it's bacon. God damn right. Bacon I was is correct. Bacon is correct. Sausage is for communists. Sausage rolls BLT. Bam. Wait, what oh. did you just say was for communists? Sausage. Banned. I didn't actually ban. I just hit your... You're a VTuber, and it was so perfect that you were silent. I am pretty far left politi politically, just so you know. Solaris, Solaris, my friend. You fiend. It's bacon, though. Bacon. What, what that bacon do? I mean, sausage because penis memes, but bacon. Now, oh, good times. now here's another question for chat. Uh oh, you're getting called out again, chat. And I don't think my friend Sterling, who's in the chat, would know the correct answer to this because I will say the correct answer in chat and on stream. But red mm. or blue? Bacon is too mainstream? You goddamn contrarian. I love you, Solarius. I'm a meat hipster. <laughs> then why didn't you say pork rind, Solaris? Oh wait, you were we given got, a choice of one and two. Two people got, saying got, blue. Yeah, two people saying blue. What, what, what about anyone else? It's hard for me to decide because the goddamn Republicans are red, but in America, but in Canada, the conservatives are blue. So it's fuck. We're not a real country. Can we stop pretending to be? <laughs> and... And Solaris goes go. red. Goes red. All right. The correct answer is, I don't even like soup. <sighs> How could you not get that chat? How could? How could? I trusted you. Humph. A rumph. A rumph of um. I I personally probably actually lean to blue for just the color aesthetic. Mm. I prefer cooler I tones to warmer tones. It depends on which one's in bed with you. The opinion is always wrong. Always. <laughs> it's always wrong. My <laughs> opinions are all objectively and ontologically correct. What's I will plus fight two? An a number. I will Bet. fight anybody on stream. <laughs> Bet. Fight me right now. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Humble has a question. Oh, what's your question? But yeah, I would love to do actual debate streams. I just haven't had anybody actually want to debate me. Just get rid of the duh and leave the word bait. I mean, I do a lot of baiting with my YouTube videos. At least now I do. Like, I had one that... Okay, YouTube analytics, the f fuck is wrong with you because like it was at or analytics is saying it's 1.7k views but you go to the video it says 500 on like youtube but like oh. yesterday 
it was 1.7 when you go onto the video itself on YouTube. Today it's 500. It's, it's weird. Put cereal first and milk or vice versa? I put cereal first so you know how much milk you need. Ah! The spoon. You paused your stream. I know, I'm fixing it. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, I should actually hide that bot command. Because I don't bot. use that. Because uh. I don't use that it. bot anymore. We don't bot anymore. Team elements, chat bot, timers. What the hell is going on? There we go. I fixed it. I could see my chat of my boss. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Now you have to fix it now? Yeah. Because it changed. It changed the location. So I just had to crop it a little better. That's mm. all. We're good. Crop it real good. Ah, uh, do do do. Yeah, that, I'm pretty much done here. I don't know if you want anything else you want to talk about. Don't do it. It's a trap. No, fucking clip me. Don't do it. Do it. It's a trap. Yeah, the trap is it helps grow my channel. Yeah, that's what you call your dick, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I I call my dick the hammer. I wanted to keep my dick. I call it the room, ra uh, the womb raider. <laughs> Is that even on this channel, or do I have to go to a different channel to it? Yes. Fuck, I do. <clears throat> so that means pulling out YouTube and linking myself. Oh yeah, I was going to be talking with. What's it? Observer Andrea, but she's not feeling well. She's sick. Well, tell her. One more question from the hedgehog. Okay. Okie doke. One more question. Shoot. Shoot me. I did, I did tell Andrea to rest up so she doesn't feel sick for work on Monday. If she doesn't rest up, I will cry. It, it'll be a big sad. We don't want to be big sad. I have an item on my eyeball. Um. Talking about your cursor. Or is that my cursor? I don't know. What? What, what cursor? Oh, there was a cursor, a cursor on my eyeball and now it's gone. I Are y'all partaking in NNN? No. I make people lose that. Yeah. No, not November. Non-stop, not November. <clears throat> oh, no, not November. I thought they were talking about non... Oh, I can't think of a better acronym. <laughs> I should go make some nudes. I want noodles. Like spicy nudes, too. Noodles. Fucking... Just, you know, you know me. I just want to fill my mouth. I want those nudes. Yo, you can join the sister chat. We could be sex tuplets. I like sex. I'm talking about the number dog. What's a number dog? It's a dog that only uh, shows you one number, like Dora the Explorer. Oh. oh, amigos, yo me amo Dora. Can you say one? Say it. One. Good, can you say... What the fuck? <laughs> Hola, amigos, yo me amo Dora. 
can you say prayeres or canto or sandwich? That means, can you make me a sandwich in Spanish? <laughs> Well, I tried. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Well, if that's the end of it, I do gotta start getting ready for work because they want me to come in at 3 and it's 2.16 p.m. Ooh, yeah, you should probably go get ready for that. But before you do jump off, would you like to shout yourself out one last time for the end of the video? I make porn. <laughs> yeah, go, go follow. Do it, you won't. I'm kidding. You already know me as Digital Vibes. If you want to come hang and watch me watch me ch uh, do some random streams, like I said, later tonight, when I get back, I will be doing a Jump King stream. My very first. If you want to come, <laughs> if you want to come, if you want to come hang with me and watch me suffer, feel free to drop on by and hang out. You followed already? Good. Oh, Make yay. sure you lurk her. We're trying to get her to affiliate. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, if you just want to come hang with me or some of my other streamer friends, I will be always over there. And I do try to pop in there as well when I can. And if you want to see more of my art, you know where to find me. Oh, God, hey, yes. You can totally use Twitter because I actually have all my links on Twitter as well. Right now, uh, I'm using Twitter, too, but I'm probably going to switch to Rule 34, honestly. My main mm -hmm. place to upload my art. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, Twitch and Twitter have all my links. If you want to go follow me wherever, yes. feel free to drop on by. And your and links will also be included in the video description, as well as YouTube yeah. description. Yeah. But yeah, it was nice seeing you. And remember, my little implings, stay gay, do lots of crime. <laughs> that is a pretty good way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, you have a lovely day. I shall. Been such a pleasure chatting. No problem. If you ever want to chat more, or if you also want to join that like thing I told you about. Oh yeah, I do like the sound of that thing. All sister chat. Oh, I meant like the Pokemon thing we were talking about in DMs before. But oh. yes, you can also send me to that. Just don't really expect activity. I can pop oh. in once in a while, but I do kind of focus on my server. Well, don't worry about that. The we, everyone in there doesn't really talk as much because like like you and me were always busy. Always busy, and we are focusing on our own things. <gasps> the stream ended. I know, I had to exit out of it. <laughs> but yes, we will be in chat or in con contact. That was the word I'm looking for. I'm not high enough. I need to go on break. <laughs> Alrighty. You have a good day at work. I will. I still gotta get ready. Go, go. And also wait for my boss to reply to see if they can give me a ride, because if I don't have a ride, I won't go to work. <laughs> well. Because I don't have a car. <laughs> like, on the one hand, I do hope you work, because, you know, bills don't give a fuck how you feel, but on the other hand, I just want you to stay home and rest, because that's better for your health. I mean, true, but like, it's not like I'm going to stay at this job for long anyway, because I got another job working at a phone place. Oh, so. that's not so bad. Yeah. Anyway, Alrighty. see you later, you fucking fabulous nerd. Take care, queen. Bye. Bye. Ah, oh, seriously, she was a lot of fun to talk to. And yeah, I will try to be hanging out in her stream for sure. But now, I should probably go take a little break because my legs are hurting. That shout out is still going. God damn. I didn't even know that was a feature on Twitch. Pretty sweet. <clears throat> Thank you.
I also need to link myself those videos I want to go over. Stuff I want to do. Oh no, it's a goddamn... It's a group chat. Okay, I think I am going to go on um, breaky. You actually pinned her? How do you pin? I didn't even know you could do that on Twitch. I thought they were too safe for work for pinning people. I'm just waiting for the time that I say something and then fucking I go and check my it's new. I assumed it's new. But I say something like really funny because everything I say is bangers. And then I go and check my Twitch and then it's like I'm not live out of nowhere. That'll be fun. But I do think it's time I go on breaky. I do gotta go to the bathroom. I've been sitting here for two hours now. Seriously, we should get her to affiliate though.